Welcome back to another video. You already know this is OG and it's some breaking news. If you ain't heard it, you heard it now. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and turn it on for us. Take a look at this wild surveillance video. It shows a car running a red light and slamming into a Miami Gardens police vehicle. That crash injured the officer and two others. NBC 6's Amanda Placencia is live in Miami Gardens tonight with the latest on this case. Amanda. Yes, Juwan, and that officer is now recovering at home, but he has a shoulder injury that may require surgery. And today we're seeing some new video which captured parts of that frightening crash. Newly released red light camera video shows the moment when the driver of a black charger ran a red light and then barreled into a Miami Gardens police officer in his squad car. The force of the impact caused the officer's car to spin and end up on a barrier ramp near the 826. The crash happened on Tuesday just after 2.30 in the morning at Northwest 167th Street and Northwest 27th Avenue in Miami Gardens. My officer, who is a four-year veteran and a field training officer, managed to get on the radio and stated he was trapped inside of his vehicle. Detectives say the officer was on routine patrol and did not have his lights or siren on when he was hit. He was airlifted to rider trauma and is now recovering back home. The black charger briefly caught on fire. Rescue crews were able to get the driver and two passengers out. Police say 36-year-old Lewis James was behind the wheel of the charger. The officer who responded to the scene noticed that James had a strong smell of alcohol in his breath, slurred speech, and was unsteady on his feet. Drugs and baggies were also found in the car. This unfortunate event underscores the severity and potential consequences of impaired driving. Red light signals are not suggestions. They are crucial devices that help prevent accidents and maintain order on our streets. Disregarding these signals endangers violators and innocent bystanders, like my officer who was on routine patrol at the time. James is facing multiple charges, including DUI causing bodily harm and possession of cocaine and marijuana with intent to sell. Yo, my boy James, my boy, you know, I don't know what you was thinking. Now, be able to get that steel frame, frame right there. You see the BMW at the light. Luckily, he ain't run into the BMW because he could have smashed the rear end. And they could have been hurt, harmed. But they pretty much witnessed that whole entire crash. Like the cop was on that very far right lane. Looked like he's about to make a right hand turn if you look at it right now. And he just clipped them. Let me see if we can capture it. Devices. Yeah, he just clipped it. And they just entangled. And it just sent that joint spiraling out of control until it hit that ramp. That's crazy, man. Buddy right there witnessed the whole entire thing. But that, that's why it's important, bro. If you driving, get it over or, or somebody else in that vehicle should have been driving that car and that hell. Even told him to slow down. Like, now you don't put other people's lives at risk. And they're also saying in this clip that one of the occupant seats that were actually in the, in the charger is on. Um, in critical conditioning, in critical conditioning might not make it, and he might also be held accountable if that person dies. So, man, it's not looking good for Buddy. And then they saying they found baggies and drugs in the car. Man, what was you on that night? That's why you just, it ain't never, I always tell people, it ain't never no rush. I don't care if I'm waking up late for work. And it's no point for me to be rushing, cutting through traffic, running through lights. Take your time. That same time that you preserving, it's more life you want to live. Now, you want to rush. You want to be in a rush to endanger yourself and others. And then you just pretty much breaking the law. you just running through all kinds of lights. Like, that was uncalled for. But um, I just hope everybody that was involved in this crash is doing all right, man. But this is a lesson to all of y'all, man. Because I know what I do. When I stop at the light, when I see them three lines right there in front of BMW, what do I think? What do you think I do? I stop. I look left and right like I'm about to cross the street at the pedestrian's walk, at the crosswalk. So you got to do the same thing with a vehicle. You got to do this and really pay attention because your life is always on the line because you're going to find a knucklehead somewhere out here that just can't take it easy. He could have took it easy. 
he was hot. That's what we consider hot. You had all the contraband in that vehicle, like they said, allegedly. And you just doing a dash? For what? Just because you want to charge it? Like, come on, dog. And then you hit the police. Like, what? What? Kind, look at your odds. You hit the police and on top of that. So, you know, he going he gonna to definitely have some charges coming up against him. But, uh, you know, I pray that everybody made it through and um, survived this crash, man. Because that was very horrific. Top speed, my boy. That's why I keep saying. saying the crazy thing is they make these cars nowadays. Going super fast, 800 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower with the demon motor in it. You might think nobody can buy them, but they can buy them on, you know, credit good, put a down payment, put that good old 30% down or whatever. They going to put you in that vehicle, especially if you know you can bring the money in every month to insure and pay for that vehicle. So, come on, man. Anybody can get these things nowadays. It's just all about being responsible. And that just putting your life, but other people's life in danger because you want to be reckless. So with that being said, make sure you pay attention to your circle and the people around you and your surroundings before they hurt you. This is OG. Ain't nothing wrong with going to school because you ain't no fool. Go do what you got to do and use your tool. I'm out. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, dog.